this is Kian Success. I'm Mr. Big Up Dancing Tear. And they are really cool. Put, 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 put it down. Put it down, put it down. Tell them dancing clear, I put it down. Sweet. The dance from the corner and we put it on Showing at the area and we put it on Go somewhere Yeah man, this is a Tony School right about now Large up dancing clear and they are rolling, cooling You don't know so they are live in the UK I And mean, I tell you, say, good things going for dancing clear And you're doing the right thing, Tony School and dance that When they say boom Welcome, welcome, welcome YouTubers to another dancing clear quick fire interview big up yourself dancing clear and big up yourself unruly cooling i be your host for today charlotte t yeah all right people who we have here none other than one of the greatest sound systems in the history of sound systems the one and only mr tony screw from downbeat the ruler Yes, I My honor to be here dancing clear, enough respect, you don't know, say, uh, foundation is here definitely. and respect the world. Uh, respect. So, Tony, we got this quick fire interview, you know what I mean? I'm going to throw some questions at your fast. Yes, sir. I'm going to run through it, see? Okay, so what inspired you to be, to be, um, to be Lassa? Well, growing up on the street that I live, and I would say the street and the neighborhood that I come from, there's a lot of dances with sound passing through the area like I would say sound up the street from my yard and down the street from my yard around the lane from my yard what and across the street from my yard uh, what so, lane is that? so um, Papi in Tavern Kingston 6 uh, a, little, a little town in you know Tavern yeah, very yeah. famous a lot yeah, of the in the 80s mentioned Tavern and the yeah, yeah, and thing like that yes, you know so you know that's where it coming from you know growing up and hearing the sound system and like the ideas and certain things you know, and from the sky era coming up, get some some of the sky and come right into the rap steady and yeah. just keep rolling on that way. So I'm a real music lover in that okay. way. You know? So so what what year was this then? What year did you did you build yourself? Well the, the name Downbeat actually built nineteen seventy one officially wow. in New York City because as a younger youth in the days of Jamaica, yeah. I, I never think of the name downbeat. You know, you used to call himself T Tone, you know, you, you know <laughs> okay. Soul Merchant. Okay. Some little name where just come up and after a while you say T Tone never so bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it's a part of Tony. And uh, you know, and then I listen to all uh, some of the producers of music then, you know, some yeah. of the producers of them when I listen to. Like I was lovely of Church Island. Yes. Um, bodily section and, and and studio one and you know many other little studio that you know make some like a one away songs. Yeah, yeah. You know, as you know some singer makes some one away songs and you know you hear nothing about those singers no more if they're still alive or anything like that. So I was just a, a lover of the music but I fall in love of Studio One really because of the one drop song. Okay. And I feel like the one drop sound was going to last forever. You know, so I can't studio one Jamaica more tone. That's what I can't studio one. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of artists as you yeah. know more tone. Yeah. A lot of big artists come from here and yeah. continue. That you know, that, yeah. that, that, that. so studio one have a have a big legacy that I fell in love with it. and um, you know, I was hoping one day that if I meet Mr. Dad which is Caxton himself that the owner of Studio One. I would get the opportunity for me to meet him and then he would say to me that, you know, or probably I would say to him that I want to have a sound system named Downbeat. Okay. Will you end our set? <laughs> you know, or something like that. Knowing I don't know what he would actually say. Okay. Well, this guy named Brad's our China guy used to have one of the best records I ever think in New York City. Mm -hmm. Well stuck. And this guy used to have children rocks. And he always read me, you know, all his play of set up for me. Okay. Bonnie Lee and yeah. you know them thing there. All his when he was a tune in car, I have a high respect for me. Okay. So one day we went in the store and it just happened that Mr. Dad comes to walk in the store. And he said to Mr. Dad says, see you tell we have more music than you. <laughs> and and that's, that's it. And so when that spent right there, so I talked to Mr. Dad right away and said to him, say, 
Well, I have a little song now that I like call it down no beat, you know, but I don't want to call it down no beat and still, you know, and that's it. Okay. You know, at the same time, you said that I want to pay, you And the man said, yeah, man, you're good to go, man. Down no beat international. And I said, you said that, you know, and you're not in front of word. If you see something in me, I'm bigger. Or something like that. <laughs> so, I go out and nigga and take the pen and write down no the international. Wow. And we take it from that, and at that same year, okay. it was coming to us Christmas. And what are you to you, sir? Engineer my song. We can't even get money down by so You don't care to blow double. Okay. So, he was working on a um, printing shop. Yeah, yeah. I said to him, say, get money, you want. I want you to make a flyers like on Christmas at home, that's pretty with that, so jingle bells and some things. See. And we went to call it Don't Be the Ruler. See. And no, it was not that, no, I'm wrong about that. We didn't say Don't Be the Ruler at that time, we said Don't Be the International. Yeah. The next thing I know, that I never seen so much international in all my life. You know what I mean? Every song is international, international, international. So that's when I kind of start look back on it now. Not right away, but a couple years later I start say everybody saying international. Yes, I'm international, but I also the ruler. Yeah. And that's when I stopped the ruler on it now. And Mr. Dad was a great influence of me because I get him to come and dance about four or five times. Nobody used to do that. Wow. I get Sir Caxon to say, yeah. actually come in the dance wow. hall. Yes, I remember. In, 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 in America, right? Or, or, or back, in, back home in Jamaica? No, in, in, in America, because like okay. I say, I never know him in Jamaica. Okay, yes, I yes. actually meet him in, a, in, in America in 1971. But, 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 but I, no, I meet him in 1972. Okay. But, 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 you know, that I, I have this idea in me and so well, then this one is my dream. And when I meet him, and if he said no, I don't know what I would do. You yeah, know, yeah. Because I took like, um, I became a big part of Studio One. The relationship between me and him grew. Because I took our brigadier here to record. I took Joseph Wayne there. Okay. I took Pliers. I yeah. took Frankie Paul. I took Half Band. Just name it down the line. Yeah, you yeah. know, some of the songs um, I've really released, but believe me, I'm not telling no lie. People yeah. know, you know, because those artists was my friends, then, you know. And, and it, the thing just started to rise that way, and the down beat, and I took Glenn Washington there. Okay. And, and, and first Glenn Washington, yeah. 96. And, you know what I mean? It's just history, on top of history. Yeah. And I was really getting nothing out of it, but pure love. Yeah. Because I love the music and if you give me some dub play it'd be nice. <laughs> you know? Love love. And it was just a thing that I grew up from here, that thing with dub play it, yeah. dance hall style. And I grew up that way and decided to say I wanted to have my song that way there. And I still glad I, I you know I mean I happy I keep it this way today, you know, you know, no people say I am old man now and certain things, but I still have, I think I bought it on before. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah so very honest, very time. You know, yeah. you know, and thing, you know. But I feel, I feel, I feel the studio one influence in, like, I personally, I listen down beat from as, as long as I can remember sound system. Okay, personally. And there's always been that strong studio one influence. In, like, some of the, some of the dub that, that down beat have is like, one away, some, that's where we really start here, real quality artists on studio one is a dub play thing from from down the road. Well I glad I could share some of my you know my 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 ideas to, to people. I wasn't biased about it. So yeah. that tell me one time that you know if I wanna give away my my strength it's all up to me. Okay. But, but 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 that was really true what him said. But I love the business so much. At some time when I buy some dub for some song I used to like sing like I'm a singer. <laughs> Cause kind I of don't know the songs, yeah. and you know it just yeah. a pure love in me. Yeah. And everybody yeah. that know me know that pure love that grew up in me, and uh, you know I, I like to go to some of the song clash dance, and I see something that I have over a lot of the young selector yeah. that 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 I see. That's why I think that even though I never said to myself that maybe I'm the greatest, but I could say it. I think I could say it because I listen to a selector play 
and I never play back a song in my career, in my, in my life, and I go to Atlanta Clash yeah. and select selector playing back songs. And I say if you're a good selector, you're not supposed to play back songs. True, definitely. You it's know, especially in a clash. Yeah. So what's some of the sounds that you played with right, in, in, in New York? Some of the oh my God. Let me tell you something. Some with name, mm -hmm. some without name. And I mean, and, and I play back, in, when you go back in the 80s then, I play Volcano, yes. Gemini. I play with almost every song. I play with Day Sadisi. Oh my God. I mean, I play with Jaro. Not too regular, yeah. but I play with Jaro. And I play with so many songs. You know, Addis told me that I am the person who actually influenced them to build a song. You know? And you know, Sugar Miner, who was living in Jamaica, yeah. Sugar Miner tell me that don't be it. You know, say, so you may never be that song. Wow. You know, you man promotion. I am Sugar Miner, was living in Jamaica. Yeah. You know, because he said, well, I never see nobody play a song like you, the way you play it. You know? And two of the greatest things in my influence where the business is concerned. Because if I really have to sit down here, mm -hmm. my history about the, about, about the true history that I could give the world. It's not too dark tree day. You know, this is why I'm, I'm picking up now to say, put some it in a book. Oh, as long as I'm yes, here, because it's so much pressure. Right? And everything that I'm saying is so true. Definitely. Because when you love music, you don't have, it's nothing to dare to, to lie about it. True. Because it's coming naturally. Yeah. And that's me. You know, one time gone, a man could just meet me in a record shop and said to me, say, I have a party tomorrow night, man. I'm so wasted. <laughs> that is my car or not at that time, man. And, and Ray Ray, and him give me the address. And we we're talking about him 45 them times, they would have no plate. Yeah. Can you bill him? Yeah, yeah. And I would take up two bucks of 45 and go. And don't care who played there, but I start there, yeah. make a difference. Yeah, you know? So it was a great thing that I really do in this music business. And I wanted him when the music was changing. I saw the change that was coming. Yeah. But I say to myself that everybody can't be the same way. True. And if I want, you know, it's, it's thousands and millions of people around me. So if, if 10,000 people decide to go to the weekend and, and, and 1,000 or 500 come to say, I'm going there and going there, I will still satisfy for that. Yeah. You know, and this is why I don't need actually became a foundation song. In the business. So tell me something, Tony. Um, can you remember your first clash? Wow. Wow. You know something? Mm -hmm. I I don't remember, you know. I don't exactly remember my first clash. Okay. But I could tell you that I remember the first time I go in certain area to play okay. like 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 the first time i went in like connecticut to play i remember one night i was playing a song a song by the name of uh, soul tone okay no, yeah soul tone right in bridgeport connecticut and when i was playing this guy is some good equipment so but i remember that night he play one he play a couple of rounds and i play a couple of rounds and the next round, when he make a attempt for walk up back to the stage to play, the crowd never want to hear <laughs> Because, you know, I mean, you know, you know, it was just such a great thing. And also, I remember there was a song named Tipatone, not the original Tipatone. Okay, this guy yeah. come from Hartford, Connecticut, who was playing that night when I found a DJ named Low Rankin. Uh, and Low Rankin was DJ for that song, and I have a little DJ named Scully. Little like bad youth, yeah. you know, so like Lower Ranger, okay. and the same pitch like Lower Ranger, and Love Studio and to, and we go up there that night and play, it. And, and when I listen to the song, the song play good, but not tune too much down, mate. Okay. So one of my cousins who passed, you know, she was sitting by the bar, and I play, and when I finished play, I walk off, and when I went to her, to her, I saw Lower Ranking was kind of talking to her like, you know, bother up like, you know. And I said to him, say, brethren, where you bother up the girl for? I said, look, man, I'm a cousin, you know. 
see when you see myself to see if you can't look at me in the bridge, you know, bad I'm going to say my cousin, I'm going to say my cousin. I'm kind of open up and joke it out. And then he said to me, say, yeah, man, everything's cool. And I said to him, say, no, you don't say it's so good, but you're the rap sound. You know? And from there, so, Jack Ruby came up. And then when Jack Ruby came up, that was probably 82, I think. And Jack Ruby came up from Jamaica and bring up body culture there. And a lot of people think that no ranking came up with body culture there. But he didn't pay up with body culture then. He started to take the vibes from yeah. body culture then. Okay, yeah. And he became like an outstanding DJ. Yeah. And yeah. thing like that. But it was actually an and then the DJ of my son, and I was DJ of my son, and Giant Shine and them, yeah. Sister Carol and them, yes. and certain yeah. things, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, the dance side thing with me, I could play part one and part two for the DJ. You know, because the ranking show, the brigadier, any DJ you have, I can play part two, part one, and part two for the spin of the version, because that's the era I actually grow in. Yeah, definitely. Now, brigadier actually, a lot of people don't know, but brigadier actually was the DJ who actually encouraged me more in Dublin special. Yeah. So, even though I was doing a little special before, but my first official special as a as a name brand artist, there was Brigadier 1979. Wow. Even though I have some of the youth, yeah. Weber, Little Dread, yeah. Dry Boney, Dumpling, and those youth, but <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a name brand DJ, yeah. and I, took, I went to Jamaica 1979, and I took Brigadier for Studio One, because actually, I wanted Brigadier to record for Studio One. But when we go in Studio One, every song Brigadier was doing, the stores down me, you know? <laughs> and, and things like that and you know like you know but I, I could tell you I remember my first big dub from Brigadier was taking a show I was going to ask you that so yes. stick up in so uh, we, what we would like to know on St. Clair what's your three do you have like three um how can I put it three three dub your most precious dub to you more than three oh, okay more than three um more than three but um, I have a very summon dog, which um, respect you to your down meat. Respect you to your down meat. I end up mixing that tune myself, and I end up inching the tune. And a lot of times, what I did, a lot of times I play the tune and I say to the people, and nobody would tell me why very summon said, thank you to the screw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because he said, thank you to the screw, because I intro it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and it's a rhythm that I love, and I love German bass, and, and, and believe you me. That's one of my precious dog. Okay. And I have a Glen Washington dog name. Put another dog on the turntable. Bad. And also one of my favorite dog also is a silver tone dog. I play it in Japan in October, and mash up the place. Um, the great down beat. You know, the whole dance thing that show, you know. Uh, and things like that. And when I play that dub, I would say no song can play this rhythm or this special. True. Because I don't think if Silver Tone do that true, it will sound so good, like going so on and that, and that rhythm. Yeah, yeah. But I have uh, so many special, and Brigadier Special, which was the first official special that I have. Uh, used to mash up the piece every time I played. Strictly rubber dub. Um, when it's the music I let blow down, only can play by one song in a wrong style, don't we? <laughs> and it says strictly robot, don't, don't need to play. That's the same rhythm that became, you know, even less is the original uh, rhythm yeah, yeah, actually yeah. by maybe Vin Gardner or Dan Jumon, so yeah. I'm quite sure which one of them. But yeah, even less is a famous enough for you them to be yeah. yeah. wouldn't know that. Yeah, yeah. They don't know that because they don't study that way. And when we talk about even less, greetings come after even less. Right. Um, um, Dennis Brown, your love's love. gonna hold on me. Oh right, my god, right. you, you, you know what yeah, I'm right. saying? Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. So, this is what I want the youth them to do. And Dan Sinclair, I tell you something, just to switch a little bit. Good thing that you are doing, and as many times I, when I just get to know the program and I start to watch it, I really, it really, you know, give me energy to watch it whether it's clash or not. Because I love that because the youth them 
need to learn because I'm going to tell you why and all the sound them that listen to me today I want to hear what I'm saying and dancing during this interview here all right, listen up people, listen it's not every, all it sound is truly all because you have different producers and I realize all these youths them call it every, every foundation song they call it Studio One or Studio First and they are wrong because they are different version. What they do, Studio One get the full credit for that because they give Studio One the credit. But I want this youth them to know the difference of a Treasure Island sound and a Studio One sound. I know the difference of a Channel One sound or a Joe Gibbs sound. Definitely. Because each studio have a different song. Yeah, for real. You know, a lot of people would say, yes, you know, um, Channel One may be one of the best history out of Jamaica also. Todd is making a lot of good songs too. Yeah. And you have a bad studio in Jamaica and you're mixing that one. Yes. And, 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 and Church Rail Alcanelis used to say, it's just something about Church Rail Studio, maybe the wood that build it. Yes. And then don't talk about the authentic sound that Studio One with that one drop sound and drum rolls. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember one time, they were sampling every studio one drum rolls. Yeah, yeah. And I said to myself that one time, the next thing that I think they was going to try to do is copy harmony, the harmonize. Yeah. Because the harmonizing is so pretty, and the songs then, which most of those harmonize coming from the foreign room, yeah. Yeah, and the Jamaica, so and, so and, and you know, impressions, and tongues, and and, 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 and all those things, and then the Jamaican artists them add more things to it. Yes, right. But me myself grew up to love dan you know dancehall so much. I love dancehall so much, and I think this is why the energy of dancehall keeps me night so long. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people sometimes go around me, but I don't care. I promote him reggae music, and I brought in Robert. Yeah. And don't it's a hardcore song. You yeah. understand? So when I play competition with someone, I don't care what they want to play. Yeah. I don't care. Sure. I know that when they finish, my time comes. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah, I feel it. So so as an advice for you, what 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 what's the main ingredients that like what name like like three things we we'll keep going to the back to this three, but like, there's three things that you might say that a sound system needs in order to be a sound. You know what I mean? A good song. Yeah. That's play it. good. Yeah. And after you have a good song, you need to have tune with it. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to play a song where you might have like a stereo graph, then you want a good DJ or two good DJ. You want to start at least a two DJ and a singer. Always need to have a, a singer and a song. Yeah. And, um, you know, like, you know, those, 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 you need to have that. You know, that, that's three things I say. Now, the selector them who like to juggle. The selector them who like to juggle. I don't want them coming come and tell me nothing about their style. Play out the tune a little longer because sometimes yeah. they cut the tune and the punchline cut from the tune too fast. Yes, man. You know? Yeah. You know? But sometimes yeah. I understand it certain time because sometimes when five, six songs playing, everybody want to race out the popular the yeah. tune first. To me, I don't care. If I play new and you think you can play just because you're, I'm playing CD, you're playing laptop, and you can play 30 songs, you can play 30 songs in one minute. I don't care if you play 30 songs and I play 10, as long as my 10 get a yeah, bigger power there. Definitely. You know? So, it's been way of how I look into it. And another thing again with me, I got a brilliant brain. Maybe because I grew from the foundation for the long time already. I just can just tell the artist that I want the song to go on that rhythm. Yeah. And it will fit on, on the rhythm. Yes, so right. when I make my songs, man, my, when I, I don't want to remix. Yeah, yeah. Because it's already fixed. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it's, already, it's already fixed. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So that, that's one good thing about me. And this is why my dub played them so attentive. Yeah, and another thing about most, 90% of my studio one dub, dub played. It's coming straight from the tape. Oh, yeah. It's okay. coming from straight the, from, from the real tape. From the real tape. Never, never, never come from the vinyl. Yeah. And you remember a lot of people say, oh, Strudel, I'm them scratchy, scratchy. And, um, you know, I will advise a lot of children. Which the Mr. Daddy Kyle Cox the himself when he was alive. You know, okay. He would do a lot of Idos Carter and all those things. Yeah. And I will advise a lot of children. Which Mr. Daddy Cox himself when he was alive. He would do a lot of Idos Carter and all those things. 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell the world this history. I got a vision one man when I, when I decided to take this dumpling thing serious. But I wanted to start from studio one because we were already cutting Janice June and certain things and certain guys getting bigger Janice now. Then I in not go to the school, small fish and things. So I come up with the idea and say, you know something? Stick to the way you know more because computer is nice and it's modern thing. But computer really doesn't sound sweet like yeah. the real foundation thing. And anybody who studied music knows That's that. Right. that. Really so one morning I wake up and I decide to talk to Mr. Dad. I don't, I, I respect the man so much. I don't know what he would say when I was, when I was thinking about asking the question. So Mr. Tim said, Mr. Dad, boy, I have a vision that I want to put to you. And was very, very quiet. Don't know him answer. So I said to him, say, why have a vision? And so he said, let me hear it now. So I said, why? I want to do something different. I want to find all the foundation artists there, if they must align. Find the original rhythm with them sing. You know, I, I don't know what say. I just have a thing that can work, you know, and I can make them big too. What year are we talking about? What, what year did you have this vision? Oh okay, man, this was like um, early 80, man. Like, like, like 81, 1980, 80, 81. Okay. And Mr. Dad turned to me and he said to me, that time they bring in our equipment, the you know, hey, that. Yes, man, I remember. Uh, you remember it's two sets. But we get this correct so the younger people can know what we're talking about. Yeah. He had that first when they bring it was like the VHS tape. Yeah. That was the first one. <laughs> Looked like a VHS yeah, yeah. videotape. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Then that kind of come off on the scene they come in. Yeah. And they bring back a next little one where it's like a three quarter. Then then they come in with a mini bit stuff. Yeah. And that, if you, that, and, that and if you remember, and yeah. then they come back with it, they come back you now with the ear that now. Again. No, when they come back with the that no, when they must have the machine and all them things. Oh. So when I asked Mr. Dad, Mr. Dad turned to me and said to me, say, call Mr. Dad, call everybody Jackson. I don't know if you ever hear that history. You, know, you don't call people by their name. So every use Jackson, use Jackson, <laughs> and I am Jackson. So I said to him that, he said to me, say, Jackson, I didn't know what happened. You will kill it with quality. You know why he say that? And when he say that, I have a headache right away because my head really speak because I have said, I don't know what this man been telling me. And this man was with me. So when I check it out, a two track team, originally that we know. When I see the stick to mix them, I sang on it. Rod, nice, and everything. I ate that tape was almost the same thing. So when Studio One take his tape, what I found cassette or him, read to read and transfer it to the ear, ear, ear that tape. Yeah. He said wider. He said it's wide. So when when so when 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 you um, when you Studio One, Studio One to is always good. What happened is it, about something about the vinyl, maybe about the pressing of what is compound, what's my situation. And, but the broadness was always there. And when I started to play that time, people was wondering, oh my God, played them so and so. Yeah. And then another thing with me again, I don't harmonize every song. Because some of them the harmony fit it, and some of the harmonize don't fit it. Yeah, for real. But I will spend the time if I feel like to God, you know, like when I advise artists like me, right? So yeah. she might, I don't care if he watches this interview. Is it true? You know, I feel that when, when Leroy is a great singer where I read so much, but when him vice a tune and you get that sweet backbone by some of the tunes, mm -hmm. yeah. give him that harmony. Mm -hmm. It made the tune so real and sweet, and I love that. Okay, so you kind of produce, your dub sound mm -hmm. like that, like well produced, more, yes. than, more than just come to studio yeah, and listen. give me give me mm -hmm. a vibe, you just make sure everything is put in its place. And, yeah, you have know, some yeah, yeah, artists well. right now. I haven't been friend for many years, and I'm going to tell you right now, one of the most serious dancer I've ever seen. And if anybody wants to you know, I have to talk to Don't Meet. 
And I'm not telling him don't do no dog for nobody. But if he's going to do a dog for some, some other song, he's going to come and ask me. And I would say, do it. And then we said, no man, they're not a radio. You know? And things like that. And I can talk to the national and, and, and the world have to watch out the dumb dog and this artist named Sammy Levi. Ah, and, and Sammy Levi, a lot of sound calling for him now. And I don't mind, but just show the people you know, of this old boy. You know, when he says it's a old boy you now, the gift that I have. I was in dance by Bob Marley of one of the the first artist, 1969, yeah. when Bob Marley said to me that youth, long liberty, it's in my history, yeah, yeah. and you're going to kill them in a dance. Uh, and it's true, because when I saw me, me, if you don't beat me, it's me beat myself. <laughs> because you can't look on a crowd and say to the coach, say, you know something, that you have got too big for them. Yeah. But I still play it. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So, and another issue that I have, I hear a voice named Shabaram again. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear the voice Shabaram again. I said, it's DJ Power for them. And I bring him to New York for my birthday party, 8 and 8. And hold a microphone and tell the cool dance, watch out for this DJ where my Shabaram and him get two Grammy. So, all of these dreams just fit in one yeah. and say, well, then. And a friend of my brother tell me that, why well, you should have produced? I'll tell him, tell me. Okay. Everybody tell me, I'm doing dog without telling you, start him laughing at the dog. Laugh, because when I see the dog, the only thing you could have said, I don't need your bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And things like that. So, and I never bad mind, you know, to an artist like telling him, don't do a dog for you or not. You know, when, when I put Mitty Macklin out there, Mitty Macklin probably was going to, the name was probably was going to bust in dance hall anyway. You know. But I am the first man who went dance that song. When I call a friend of mine in England and say, and say you don't know, just search him if anything come out new because I don't just like Jamaican artists. I have bad artists and back in the days, back in the days, I like a song and make in Jamaica, release in England first. So English people, there's a lot of them that know the song and make some nice song. So I call this bridge of mine and say, anything come out new? And he say, well, then not too much. But this little song, being be walk away from love and uh, the, guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the first time I hear about Mitty Macklin, first time, and I said to him, touch it up here, touch it for me, I want to touch the song, I said, buy 50 copies for me, <laughs> just like that, but a lot of things else what I do, I went to England like 87, I was doing this thing for producer and everybody and it's way after when I I buy Wide World, Maxi Breeze, bring it away and give it to Ken Williams, yeah. Jeff Barnes and I give it to them. So I was promoting people's song because I feel it was a good song and then when I realized that Willie Lindo okay. owned the rhythm, I buy the rhythm from Willie Lindo just to do a dog for Maxi Breeze. Yeah. Maxi Breeze didn't tell anybody that. I bite the rhythm for oh, that's, what, yeah. that's what sound system used to do, right? It's, yes. it's, it's, it, 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 it promoted the artists and everything and brought the artists to, to, you know what I mean? Put, put them out there with the radio, what did you do that? Listen, so, I'm glad you say that to me. People, let me tell you something, dancing to a good education for the business, Definitely. for reggae music and sound, for the whole alternative sound things, the youth and youth that were inside that, good, good business. And I think if you listen to me, listen to dancing here with all different different sound on over here. Yeah. I'm gonna get ideas from there. Education. And, and enough education. Mm. And you don't have to tell a man this 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 about him matter for really. What you will keep it clean. Definitely. I don't have to tell a man say you shot him, even if you don't mean it, because most of the time I know this you they don't mean it. You know? But some people get the advertise where well, I get to understand reggae music. You take them some of the longer time, give some of the middle class people, and they must say, I've got them some of them, why they cost too much bad water or something like that. You understand? So 
We want the music to play. Big up your song. Talk about the sound, the sound of the greats. Nobody can take on that. But yeah. once you start to bring the violence tonight, even if you don't mean it. Yeah, it, it, it You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, don't mean it's a song that the reality, people should hear me play the most true. People should hear me play so true if I really want to play so true. true. And if people protect me you know, when I'm on the boardwalk, I did something on the boardwalk in 2016 where I surprised the whole boardwalk in Brooklyn. But I plan my situation to go to tell the people in the one of my favorite Calypso songs, Sugar Bowl, Sugar Bowl. Yeah, yeah, Lord Kitchen. And play it and mash up the whole place. Nobody could believe that. You understand? Yes. Man. So, Dan Sinclair tell you, we go after to do this again. Because I know it might be a short moment, yeah. but when don't need to start to give the history, it's not a little one minute. That's what the viewers need to know. That we, like, this man's history is, is you get an education, you get so much from it. Just listen to the sound cassette, then we haven't got time to go for everything. So, one thing I'm going to say to you, man, do you have any advice? Or do you want something to say to the viewers before we before we get out of here? Or something that you yes, want to man. The youth and youth, them. I, I usually warn the youth and youth, them. I've been doing that for many years now. I've been warning them. So be careful of the Europe sound, them. No disrespect from the old Europe sound, them. But we have a thing that our granny used to tell our parents to tell you that, that they are true. Creep before you walk. True. And, 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 and anything you're doing, you have to come from the foundation. Yeah, yeah. Now what the Europe sound them is doing is coming from the foundation. I hear some sound playing all over the world like, and it's dumb beat, I'm hearing. Yeah. They probably, you know, they copy me, I went to Belgium, and this guy was so brave enough that he, he, he said to me that, I tell him the truth, you know, and, you know, I, I, I copy down beat yes, and, and I say to him, where's royalty? <laughs> you know, and, 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 and thing like that, but you know, and thing, but he, and he started to play some song for me. And uh, the only difference about the song, the rhythm that he played, 95% of the time is a different mix. Okay. But it's the same rhythm, but a different mix. Yeah, yeah. But I still give thanks for no say I can be out there. And you know, I have people from record shop that call me. Customers come in the store and ask for a song. And it's me them call. You know? And well, we did that too, they get rare, rare. My my brains is quick, man. Quick, very quick. You understand? And a lot of people say I don't want to bust on youth. But them run, them lie. You can't just bust youth, so you can't bust youth with us one come take away your things them and run. Because if you love the business, you don't take a next man record. You know? So, you know, you know? So, I want you to can come around me. I had, I, had, I had two youth that I think that why, yes, them youth are yeah, the right match to don't be play. But I don't know what, what seven it is, but them chief for a little bit. But you know, we have to go on. We have to go on. So, that time is good. Left, right, that's a, yes, it's a shame, you know. It's a shame, you know, because it's an education, and that's a, you know, it's an honor to be sitting with such a. Yes, a, that's I want to big up. I want to big up. I want to big up. Are you be wise? Are you be able? Yeah, you know, oh, they are dancers. I want to big up. Are very intelligent. You are the most intelligent. DJ in you know, the whole world, and the music shining. Anyway, they come out and don't need to stay with South Carolina. Anyway, they are standing. Sister Carol, Reverend Bado, computer, Howie Bantan, the whole of them, the captain, the band, the whole of them, they come through, they don't need to stay wicked. And I'm a mixer, one great mixer in the world, Chucky Jam. Hey, hey, hey. You understand? Yeah, man, we no. And remember, Super Cat, every DJ in the history that body is Jamaica, is tied and ninja man, yeah. come through the world. Yeah, don't definitely. Meet. So when Don't Meet is out here, it's not a joke. So I want to thank you all very much. It's and um, eventually, okay. we're going to be, uh, you know, we, we, we're going to be doing some more on this interview. Because I really want to set it out to you. But please, I'm yeah, telling you, yeah, yeah. just conscious on yourself. 
because you see chronic comes with some good words. Me love it. Some positivity. Me love it. Yeah. Me love it when you come with it. And we can't wait for five seven. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what you do. I can't wait for five seven because me have to read him the chronic. <laughs> There you have it, people. Thank you very there much, man. People. That's it, clear. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm really cool. I'm really cool. I'm going to tell done. you something. I don't get a little <laughs> sweaty here now. And when I get sweaty, that's the time you get to talk to me. You understand? I'm in the UK. You know, no respect. See the people. Yo, this has been another Dancing Clear quick fire. I've been your host for today, Charlotte T. Big up yourself, Dancing Clear. Big up yourself, I'm really cool. Ciao. Don't break the ruler. We're out of here to the next time.